ever had an all-consuming passion in your life? You know, something that stirs your very soul? Hmm? Well, for me, it's astrology. You know, the, the study of the stars. My colleagues and I, we spend, we, well, we spend our lives studying the stars, trying to work out what they mean for us and, and where they're going to lead us in life. And we sit down around the fire and uh, our notes and jottings and we discuss our theories and, and so on. I mean, for some, it's a hobby. But uh, for me, well, it's my very being. It's my, it's my way of life. Well, many months ago, we witnessed a, a new event in the sky. It was a star, a huge star. We knew of an ancient prophecy that said that this would, would foretell of a, of, a, of, a, well, of a new event, a major event in all our lives. I wasn't really sure about that. I mean, old prophecies, there are lots of those around. What well, can you imagine? Can you imagine what people felt? Because this prophecy said that the star was going to precede the arrival of an important being in our lives, a new king of the house of David. Well, can you imagine how excited everybody was? Well, maybe not everybody, but... Well, if it did, it had to be found. Now, on the other hand, if we... Uh, if we didn't find it, then it would be the world's biggest goose chase. But what choice did we have? Well, of course, today you've got the advantage of hindsight. But how would you have felt if you were in my position? Well, I was faced with leaving my family behind and all the comforts of my home for a possibly long and dangerous journey. Given I'd have all the comforts of... Of, uh, of, of, that my servants could bring with me and, and I'd have the, 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 the company of all my colleagues and so on. But even so, it was something I wasn't entirely happy about. Would be something that, that would change my life forever? Hmm. Would be something that, that there was... It would show me that there was more to life than just the usual routine of tasks and responsibilities. Would it be something that, that could change the way we would think and live? Well, I don't know. But we went anyway. The journey was difficult, and all the time I was, I was filled with this nagging doubt. Now, I decided not to burden my colleagues with it. It wouldn't have been fair. So I kept it to myself. And then we finally came to the place. Well, I looked at all the gifts we brought with us, the gold and the frankincense and, and the myrrh, and then I looked around me and, well, all I could see was a, a baby in a, in a cot in a cave. It was abject poverty. I felt, well, I felt crushing disappointment. Had this journey all been in waste? Maybe I should have trusted my feelings to begin with. Or was I looking at a majesty? One that I was, I was yet to comprehend. Mm -hmm.